Any brand, everywhere. Amongst all watches, Titan is the winner of the Red Dot Design Award, which is equivalent to the Oscar Award in the film world and holds the record of the slimmest watch in the world. Titan is the fifth largest watchmaker in the world, sold in 32 countries and has over 1,000 varieties catering to more than 135 million customers worldwide. Why don't you be one of them? Titan is now in Bhutan with Kushu Enterprise, the sole distributor. Visit us at Kelwang Building near Clock Tower in Thimpu. We have genuine Titan watches for all, from school-going children to office goers to armed force personnel to sportsmen with contemporary to classic designs. You can get your choice of watch at Titan. Get your Titan from Tashi Commercial Corporation in Penciling, Gelifu, Samdup Jongkar, Paro and Thimpu, Bhutan Distributor in Penciling, Choden Songkang in Mongar, Tsering Doji General Store in Tashigang, and Royal Bhutan Army Canteen in Thimpu. A Titan watch is not only a timepiece, but also a piece of jewellery with a sentimental value. Get a jewel for yourself and for your loved ones at MRP, ranging from 450 to 25,000 Neutron. When you choose Titan, you are choosing a lifetime companion you can depend on every day and every season. Zongpo and welcome to Do You Know Your Child? I'm your host, Chani. Show your child what is wrong and right. Do not hesitate to teach your child what is bad because the child will someday or another come across it and if parental guidance happens to be missing then, it becomes dangerous for your child. As a result, your child will not understand the dangers associated with that specific act. He or she will go out and try it and most probably will get into trouble. In our last show, our participant made some commitments. Let's see how well they're keeping up. I promise I will watch less TV. Guys, time to stop. You promised you won't watch as much, remember? Come on, let's go out. Ben has never been to hospital before and he is a bit scared. Were you a bit scared when you went to hospital? Last week I committed that um, I'll do more uh, pre-reading skills and that was like uh, using flashcards. I would um, practice with her. So we're doing that. Well done. Parents should monitor children, but that does not mean you should poke your nose in their affairs. As a parent, you have every right to know your child's affairs and monitor your child's life, but that does not mean you disrespect them. When parents become too intrusive, children get secretive and will no longer trust you. Let's see which family we have today. I am Bharat Yongyan. I work for Bhutan today as Deputy Managing Director. And these are my families. She's my daughter, the only daughter, Swastika, and this is my wife. I'll be coming to the show, Do You Know Your Child? And uh, I've heard about it from my friends. And uh, this uh, show, which I have heard about it, but I've never seen it, it looks like that show is very good because it uh, brings the, the relations between father and the child together and how you know about your child closely, in depth. So. In, on that context, I'll be coming to your show with my daughter here. I am very excited because I'm happy to come in TV. Welcome to the show, Mr. Bharat. Um, do you know your child? I think uh, I know her. Okay. Tell me a little something about your family. La. We are a small family, mm -hmm. just my daughter, my wife and me. Okay. And we are staying here in Thimpo only. All right. So, um, do you have any help looking after your daughter? La? Yeah, of course. Uh, usually during examinations, uh, I to teach her. Oh, okay. And uh, I tend to monitor when she comes back uh, from the schools. You know? Yes. 
but she's always glued to TV, you know, and there are certain things, you know, which you can't uh, enforce on them also, mm -hmm. because nowadays these kids, you know, they're full of this yes. thing, that thing, you know. So even if you try to uh, mm. uh, do something a uh, little bit, I mean, to overpower them, you know, yeah. they have a chance, you know. They're saying like, okay, they do, they come to us say like, I'm their only child, this yeah. and that, you know. So they you know they have the power, you know, to overcome know. you. I guess so. Um, but as a parent, you should always know that you have the power. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, of course. But she's being the only child, you know. I guess so. And uh, she's been pampered. Mm -hmm. So more or less, you know, at the end, it's mm -hmm. her will only. There are a lot of couples or parents out there who only have one child. And I think most of these kids are um, pampered and yes. they're spoiled. Yes, you're right. But I want to ask you if, you, if you, if there's any technique you use to reinforce something that you know is right, but your daughter is like, uh-uh, no, this is wrong. So how do you go about and enforce? Or right now she's a young one. I have not thought about it. She's just in class four, okay? Mm -hmm. But uh, it doesn't mean that... Uh, uh, that she being young, uh, we shouldn't take uh, any steps, you know. But uh, as you grow up, uh, as she grows up, you know, mm -hmm. and I being a father, you know, especially she's a girl and I have to be very careful. Yes. So right now I have not thought about it, but as she grows up, you know, then uh, I will try to, not that she will be grounded for, mm. she will be grounded like this or that, but some strictness has to be brought in her so that uh, as she grows up, she cannot, she will not. Uh, uh, she will not go to the bad path. That's I what I... Have you watched the show before? Yeah, I've watched uh, so many times. Okay, all right. So I'm still going to go and explain to you the rules. Okay. I have in here my envelope 10 questions. I'm going to ask these questions to you first. Then your daughter will come here and I'll ask these questions to her. Later on, we'll tally the answers and that'll be your score. Fine. So um, are you ready? La? Yes. Okay. So um, first question. When... Is your birthday? It's Jan 26. Jan 26, okay. Second question. When was the last time you got your daughter a present? On her birthday. Okay, all right. Next question. What is your daughter's favorite color? Pink, blue, I think. Pink and blue, okay. Question number four. Who is your daughter's class teacher? Ma'am Zamo. Okay. Number five. How many students are there in your daughter's class? Right now, maybe 40. Okay, which school does she go to? Jikinangi Law Secondary School. Okay. Number six, who is your daughter's best friend? Right now, mm -hmm. there's none. Okay, all right. Question number seven, does your daughter enjoy reading? Yes, she does. Okay. When was the last time you read your daughter a book? Or maybe you read together? During examination, I think. Okay, all right. So you um, read textbook? I think twice or thrice I read her a story. Storybook, yeah. okay, all right. Question number eight, what is... Your daughter's favorite book at the moment? Cat or dogs, somewhat like that. Okay. I don't know. It's all right. There's a book, but I have not. About uh, cats and dogs? Yeah, about okay. cats and dogs. Do you think your daughter would know when our fourth king was born? No. You don't think so, okay? Question number 10, which is your last question. Do you think your daughter knows when the fourth king was crowned as the fourth king? No. No, okay, all right. You've answered all the 10 questions. Now we're going to have your daughter come here and answer these questions for you. Okay, fine. Okay. Welcome to the show, Swastika. Um, before we start with the questions, can you please go ahead and introduce yourself? My name is Swastika Yongyang. I read in class 4A. Ma my school name is Chimnamgal Lawyer Secondary School. I'm from Dagana. I'm eight years old. Wow, okay. Swastika, what I really love about your introduction is that you know where your village is. A lot of the kids your age don't know where they're from, but you know you're from Dagana, right? Yes. Do you know where specifically in Dagana? No. No, okay, but I'm really glad that you know you're from Dagana. A lot of the people who are studying Timpu think that they are from Thimbu, but they're not. People haven't visited their village. They don't know where their village is from. Have you visited your village? No, not at all? Mm. Okay, you know what? Maybe someday you can ask your mom and dad to take uh, you to your village, okay? Because okay. you need to see these beautiful villages. If all of us live in Thimbu, no one would visit Dagana, right? Yeah. There will be no one there. And then someday yeah. you can't even say, I'm from Dagana because Dagana is going to be a big jungle, yeah. <laughs> right? 
You want people in your village, right? Yeah. So that you can go and visit and just take a look around. Okay. Okay, so are you going to go visit your village? Yes. All right, great. Swastika, I really love your name, by the way. Um, I asked your dad 10 questions about you. Now I'm going to ask these questions to you. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Are you ready, ready, ready? Or are you just not sure ready? Ready. Question number one. When is your father's birthday? 26 January. Okay. Um, what do you do when it's your father's birthday? We celebrate. Really? How do you celebrate it? Mm, we give our dad's letter. Mm -hmm. And we'll bring lots of things mm -hmm. and we'll eat. Okay, all right. Um, do you like writing letters? Yes. Okay, that, I think that's a beautiful skill that we're slowly losing, but you should keep writing letters, okay? okay. And today, you'll get to read another letter to your father. Okay. So you, you brought it with you, right? Yes. Okay. Question number two, Swastika. When was the last time your father got you a present? In my birthday. Okay, all right. What did you get? Small doll. Okay, all right. Question number three. What is your favorite color? Sky blue and pink. Okay. Next question. Who is your class teacher? Ma'am Sam. Okay. Question number five. How many children are in your class? 33. Okay. Do you have a best friend? Yes. Who is? I have two best friends. Ooh, okay. What are their names? Rebecca and Tilly Young Sam. Okay. Question number seven. Do you like to read? Yes. Okay. Do you remember the name of the book that your daddy last read to you? No. Okay, you can't remember. But you do enjoy reading. Okay. All right. What is the name of your favorite book at the moment? The Rain and the Friends of Going Rain. Mm. Okay. So they're going out in the rain. Who are the friends? Are they people? Yeah. Okay. Are there any animals in the book? Yes. One horse. There's a horse? Yeah. Okay, all right. That's it? Yes. All right. Why do you like reading that book so much? Because I like reading. Okay, that's very good. Okay, here's your second last question. When was the fourth king born? 11 November. Okay, excellent. When was the fourth king crowned as the fourth king? Two. Of second. Okay, good. Second of? Mm. June. June. Excellent. Okay, sometimes numbers get confusing, right? Sometimes you, I'm really bad with numbers, but at least you thought for a while and you were able to get the answer. So June 2nd is the answer. Great. You've answered all the 10 questions and you've done excellent, um, especially regarding the um, last two questions. Um, I asked you about the fourth king and you were able to answer them. That's brilliant. Good for you. I wanted to ask you question number seven and eight regarding books and readings because this year, 2015, is a year to read. Yeah. Okay, so you want to read as many books as you can, okay? And love as many books as you can and read with your appa as much as you can, okay? Force okay. him to read too. Okay. <laughs> can you do that? Yes. All right, okay. We've answered all the 10 questions. Now we're going to have what your dad has scored. Tugush, okay. are you ready? Yes. Okay, good. When is your birthday? January 6th. 26th January. When was the last time you got your daughter a present? On her birthday. Birthday. What is your daughter's favorite color? Pink, blue, I think. Blue and pink. Who is your daughter's class teacher? Zama. Ma'am Zam. How many students are there in your daughter's class? 40. 33. Who is your daughter's best friend? None. Rebecca and Tilly Young Sung. Does your daughter enjoy reading? She does. Yes. What is your daughter's favorite book at the moment? Cat or dogs. Terrain. Do you think your daughter would know when our fourth king was born? No. 11 November. Do you think your daughter knows when the fourth king was crowned? No. Two. A second. I have the result here with me and um, let's go over the questions that um, your appa wasn't able to answer correctly. Yeah. Oh. Your appa wasn't sure about the number of uh, children in your class. He said there might be 40, but you said there are only 33, right? Yeah. So he didn't get any points for that. He also didn't know the name of your best friend. <laughs> do you ever talk to your appa about your friends? No. Why? Who do you talk with them? No one. 
Oh, so your friends are your best friend secrets? Yes. Yes. Why? Why are they secrets? Because we ke- we promise we will keep this secret. Oh, okay, all right. But you know what, Swastika? I think I might be wrong, but I think it is. It's nice for your parents, your mom and dad, to know who your best friends are. Because if you want a surprise birthday party, then who do they call to? They'll think, oh, Swastika has no best friends. And they'll not call your best friends. And your best friends are going to be upset, right? Yes. So at least I think you need to tell it to both your mom and your dad. Okay. Of course, you don't have to tell it to everybody, but just okay. the two of them. Okay. So my next question, I had two parts of the question, but um, I wanted to stress on the first part, do you enjoy reading? Your dad said yes, and you said yes, right? And I love that answer to this question particularly because let's say, okay, I have a book here about the fourth king, amen? Right? And if you're reading this book, first of all, you know about whom? The fourth Fourth king, king. right? You learn a lot about the fourth king. Secondly, you learn all these new words, right? Different people write differently. They use the same words, but they write differently. So you will know how this author wrote this book. And also there's so many pictures. Do you enjoy drawing? Yes. Yeah, so see? So many beautiful pictures. So I think reading does a lot for you, which is why I'm so glad both of you answered yes to question number seven. Do you like to read? So that's good. So two thumbs up for that, okay? Um, question number eight was um, for your favorite book. Your appa said um, he didn't remember the book, name of the book, but he said something to do with cats and dogs. Were you reading a book with cats and dogs in it? Yes. What was the name of it? Mm, Don't you? Dog and Legion's cat. Oh, okay. It's one of the readers from school, right? Okay, all right. Well, at least I'm glad you remembered it. But your daughter's favorite book is some um, something to do with the rain. Or at least she said the rain. So no pointer for that. The second last question and the last question regarding the fourth king. You weren't sure yes. that your daughter would know when our fourth king was born or crowned. But your daughter pleasantly and proudly surprised you. <laughs> And she was able to give both the dates. So that's really good, okay? Now, I, I asked you about the last two questions about the fourth king because in 2015, our fourth king turned 60 years old, a big age. So we make sure that they know when he was born, when he was crowned. And in addition to that, we want to give this book to you guys once the show's over um, so that you know the great many things our fourth king did for the country, okay? But you did really well. I'm really glad. Um, so, after having discussed all the wrong answers your dad gave, um, <laughs> your upper score is 5 out of 10. So that's a great score. What do you think? Mm, not that much Not good. that great. Why? Because he needs to score 10 out of 10. Oh, yes. I think every parent needs to score 10 out of 10, right? But the thing is, the saddest part is, you know how when you do exams, you get a textbook, right? Yeah. And you study the textbook, and you're supposed to get 10 out of 10. But yeah. I didn't give your dad any textbook, right? Yeah. And he has been studying you for the last, um, how old are you? I'm eight years old. Eight years old. And there are so many things you say, so many things you do, so many things you like, so many things you don't like. Yeah. And I didn't give him the questions, right? So he doesn't know, oh my gosh, what is Choni going to ask? I don't know which questions she's going to ask, right? I haven't given him any material to study, right? Yeah. And yet he scored 5 out of 10, yes. which I think is a good, good score. Yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> now that you think, yeah, right? But if, yeah. he, if I give him a textbook and say, okay, you study this, he has to score 10 out of 10 more. Yeah. Okay, all right. So now are you happy? Yeah. We have come to a segment where we have... Um, both dad and the daughter here make commitments. Commitments are resolutions that you yeah. promise on the show and continue to do after, uh, thereafter. So what would you like your commitment to be? I'll read for her from now on. Okay, all right. Since as you have emphasized, like uh, 2015 is the mm-hmm. national reading year. Yes. So I'll try to get as many books as possible and read to her. Yes. That's the commitment I'm doing from my part. Okay, you're going to get lots of gifts then from yeah. Appa. Books, huh? Books, yes. Yes. Books. So that's good. Okay, that's a really good commitment. I love that commitment. Now for you, Swastika, I have um, this um, bowl here. And yeah. your Appa has given me three commitments for you. 
Okay? So you're just gonna have to pick one and just do that. Tupka. So there you go. Okay, your upper says, watch TV but not too much. Yes. Okay, all right. Um, do you watch a lot of TV? Mm, sometimes a little bit. Okay, what's your favorite show? Dorimon. Okay, you love Dorimon. All right. Swastika, I was doing a little research about the right amount of television a kid should watch. And kids below 10 years of age should only watch maximum two hours a day. Your dad says watch TV, and TV is good sometimes, right? But you don't want to watch more than two hours, okay? Two hours is the maximum. If you want to watch one hour, that's great, perfect. But if you want to watch more, but I mean, don't cross more than two. Top. Okay. Do you think you can do that? Yes. Is that a promise? Promise. Are you sure? Sure. Sure, sure, sure? Sure, sure, sure. There you go. Okay, I got sure three times, so that must be really sure, 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 right? Yeah. Let's go to my favorite segment, which is with love, okay? My dear daughter, Swastika, you are my sweet and uh, lovely daughter. I can see my childhood in you and your naughtiness always drives me nuts. You have been the best gift of my life. You bring joy to my life and I love you. Yours, Dad. Bharat. Oh, all right. Short and very sweet, right? This small letter is for my dad. Dear Dad, thank you for everything. You are my best dad in the world. When I am sick, you take care of me. When I I I feel sad, you make me happy. When I wanted a pup, want a puppy, you give me a puppy. When I want something, you give me. When you teach me in Zonka English EVS, I feel so happy. In holidays, you take me to the park and sometimes take me to hotel to eat. I am proud to be your daughter. I will look after you when you will become old. Love, love you always, your loving daughter, Swastika. Oh, wow. Swastika, that was so beautifully written. Can I keep that? Because yes. what happens is at the end of every season, what we do is we um, mix all these letters together and then we have three judges read it and we pick the best letter. And I think you did a great job. And I really love this line. I will look after you when you become old. That's really beautiful. And I think you follow that. Okay. <laughs> right? Okay. Will you do that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Fine. I am keeping this letter with me. Now let's go to the last part where I get to give you all the books that I promised to give you. The first book that I want to give you is this book. It's called um, His Majesty Jigmi Singhi Wangchuk, The King Who Gave Everything. I am really glad to be giving this book to you because I think it's a very helpful book for kids your age. So I hope you read and this could be one of the books that will go into um, this year's reading list. Your dad said he will uh, give you more books and read more books together, but maybe you should make a list of what books you read this year, and this can go in there. The push. Also, um, what's really special about this is um, we got you the autographed uh, version of it. So this book has been signed by, by the author, so this is all the more special. The other book that I want to talk to you about is this uh, little book written by a little girl. She's 14 years old. And she's in class nine. Now I think she's in class 10, I guess. Um, but we've been giving out this book because I want to inspire you, Swastika, to go about and do whatever you want to do. Like, for example, this girl might have wanted to be a writer and you normally finish your class 15, right? You normally finish till you graduate and then you write a book. But she already started when she's in class nine, when she was only 14 years old. And she already has a book. What do you want to become when you grow up? Police officer. A police officer. Then you should already start um, seeing what is right, what is wrong, right? A police officer is tells you, oh, this is wrong, this is right, right? Mm. So you need to make, I mean, you can already get a head start. You can 
read uh, books on policing, right? And all yes. that. So, push, so, don't give up on your dreams and go get them as early as possible. The other, the new one, this is the first of, um, we're giving out. And of course, I have these two uh, books that you can read. These are from the Ministry of Education. I've given you enough books and I hope you finish them all. And with that, of course, I have this beautiful, beautiful, what is in here? I don't know. Yeah, you don't know? A Titan watch. So I want to give all of this. Thank you. I want to thank Swastika and of course the dad here for coming to the show and being a part of Do You Know Your Child? And um, one message that I really want to, I think, send off um, the two of you with is to read because this year we're trying to focus on reading. So encourage your daughter to read. And maybe I think a good way to encourage your kids is to show through example. So maybe if you start reading yourself too. So maybe you do, but um, read in front of them though so, so that they get influenced. Yeah. Correct your child with plenty of love and care. Never agree to the bad things your child does simply because they are yours. In fact, you have to make them better because they are your responsibility. Your child might not like it when you are correcting them now, but they will always appreciate it later. Come back next week and if you'd like to be a part of this show or if you have any suggestions or feedback, please email us at parenting at bbs.bt. Thank you and bye-bye. Any brand, everywhere. Amongst all watches, Titan is the winner of the Red Dot Design Award, which is equivalent to the Oscar Award in the film world and holds the record of the slimmest watch in the world. Titan is the fifth largest watchmaker in the world, sold in 32 countries and has over 1,000 varieties catering to more than 135 million customers worldwide. Why don't you be one of them? Titan is now in Bhutan with Kushu Enterprise, the sole distributor. Visit us at Kelwang Building near Clock Tower in Thimpu. We have genuine Titan watches for all, from school-going children to office goers to armed force personnel to sportsmen with contemporary to classic designs. You can get your choice of watch at Titan. Get your Titan from Tashi Commercial Corporation in Penciling, Gelifu, Samdup Jonkar, Paru and Thimpu. Bhutan Distributor in Penciling, Choden Songkang in Mongar, Tsering Doji General Store in Tashigang, and Royal Bhutan Army Canteen in Thimpu. A Titan watch is not only a timepiece, but also a piece of jewellery with a sentimental value. Get a jewel for yourself and for your loved ones at MRP ranging from 450 to 25,000 Neutrum. When you choose Titan, you are choosing a lifetime companion you can depend on every day and every season.